how to solve systems of linear equation using the elimination method. Tara at pag-usapan natin yan dito. Manood, makinig, mag-enjoy at matu. Guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Humor PH. And dito na naman ang pabibo ninyong guro na punong-puno ng humor and willing to give humor. Narito ako para tulungan ka na tulungan ng sarili mong matuto sa pamamagitan ng math pinadali, math pinasaya, at math pinaexciting na mathematics lesson. Now, please, if you find this video helpful, please don't forget to click subscribe and click mo na rin ang notification bell para updated ka sa mga latest videos natin dito sa Humor PH. And if you found someone na kailangan ng lesson nito, please do share it to them. Let's help one another. Ayan. So without further ado, let's get to our discussion. Hi everyone! Welcome sa lesson natin ngayong araw. So for today, pag-uusapan naman natin ang Solving Systems of Linear Equation Using the Elimination Method. So last time, di ba, pinag-usapan natin yung pag-solve ng systems of linear equation gamit ang substitution method. So this time, ito naman, elimination method. So let's have our first example. Ayan, so ito ang given na systems of linear equation sa atin. x plus y is equal to 8, x minus y is equal to 4. So again, kapag sinabing solving systems of linear equation, ang ginaga ginagawa doon, we are sol solving for the solution. So yung solution, that means, the value of x and the value of y, that will make these two equations true. Ano yung value ni x sa kani y na kapag pinag-plus ang sagot ay 8? Tapos dito naman, ano ang value ni x sa kani y na the same dun sa first equation na magre-result sa 4 kapag sinag-track? So yun ang ibig sabihin ng solution. Ayan. So yun ang uh, gagawa natin ngayon ng paraan. Yun ang tatrabawin natin dito sa elimination method. Now, if you can still remember kung napanood ninyo yung substitution method, eto yung eksaktong-eksaktong equations na ibinigay ko din para masolve yung substitution method. So now, we're just going to prove na kahit alin sa dalawang method ng gamitin natin, we can still arrive at uh, the same answer for x and y. So let's prove na uh, kayang gawin na elimination method ang ginawa natin sa substitution method. Pero iba nga lang yung process. Okay. So, ganito yan. So, let's have our complete solution. Of course, label natin. Just like substitution. Label mo to as equation number 1. Of course, yung pangalawa, equation number 2 naman. Ayan, solution. So, itong solution dito, ito yung uh, solution process. Yung step-by-step step na gagawin natin. Pero, sabi ko nga, once na may encounter ka sa problem na find the solution, ang ibig sabihin lang nun, find the value of x and y. Ayan, yung ordered pair na x and y. Yun ang hinihingi sa solution. So, ayan. So, ganito. Sa si elimination method po is known as addition method as well. You heard it right? Elimination is last, is last, <laughs> is last addition method. So, yun yun. So, pareho lang yun ang ibig sabihin. Ayan. So, kaya, etong equation na 1 equation number 2, ang gagawin natin dyan, ipag a lang natin. Ayan. So, we're just going to add x plus y is equal to 8, tapos yung x minus y is equal to 4. Kaya may plus dito sa gilid. So, ayan. So, sabi natin, elimination slash addition. At ayan. So, sabi na, kapag sinabi elimination, uh, that comes from uh, the root word na eliminate. Kailangan may matanggal na isang variable dito sa given equations natin. Again, isang variable kailangan natin matanggal. And how do we do that? By adding the equations. So, paano yun? Yan to yan. So, sa idea ng addition, para ma-eliminate, di ba, kailangan magka-opposite yung sign ng dalawa. Tapos, exactly the same na term sila. So, what do I mean by that? So, let me show you uh, different uh, addition na uh, cases. Yan to siya. Just like this one, 1 plus negative 1. Parehong number 1, pero magka-opposite ng sign. So, kapag ganyan, pwede mo siyang ma-eliminate. Kasi ang sagot dyan ay 0. Ayan. Kapag may eliminate of course, kailangan mo maging 0 yung uh, number na meron. Next, ito. Negative 2 plus 2. We are adding opposite sign. Parehong 2, magka-opposite nga lang ng sign. Tapos, since you are adding, magiging 0 yan. Next. 
Ayan, so dalawang x, pero magka-opposite ng sign. Naka-plus yung dalawang x, yung isa ay positive, yung isa ay negative, that will become zero. So, pwede mo siyang i-eliminate, pwede mo siyang tanggalin, kasi zero na rin naman siya. Another, 5x, saka negative 5x, di ba? Pareho sila. Pareho sila, pero magka-opposite na lang ng sign. And kapag pinag-plus mo yan, the answer is zero. Then, ito pa, negative 2y, tapos 2y, pareho silang 2y, pero magka-opposite ng sign. Once na i-plus mo yung dalawa, the answer will be zero. So, ito yung goal natin. Kailangan yung variable, isang variable dito sa equations na meron ay maging zero or ma-eliminate natin. So, ang tawag dito, baka ma-encounter ninyo, ay neutral pair. So, pag sinabi neutral pair, kapag pinag-plus, magkakaroon tayo ng result na zero. Ayan. So, ito yung goal natin ngayon dito sa ating elimination method. Kailangan makahanap ka ng exactly the same term na magka-opposite ng sign. Ayan. So, let's have our complete process. Ayan. So, ito yun. Diba? So, maghahanap nga tayo ng neutral pair. May isang positive, may isang negative. Tapos, parehong term. So, ito yun. Atong variable na y. So, ito ang i-work out natin. Ito ang i-eliminate natin. Yung y, tapos yung negative y. Bakit? Kapag pinag-plus natin yan, y plus negative y, magka-opposite ng sign, pero same ng variable, magiging zero na yan. So, that will be eliminated. Alright? So, sana nagigets. Yun ang ibig sabihin ng elimination. Tatanggalin ko siya, kasi zero na rin naman siya. Tama? So, yan ang process ng elimination. And kapag natanggal yan, we can already solve for the value of x. Paano yon? So, addition lang. Vertical addition. x plus x. Diba? x plus x, that's 2x. Tapos, ito plus mo rin. Ito, 0 na. So, no need to write 0 dito sa baba. So, 8 plus 4, that is 12. So, that is equal to 12. So, ganun lang yun. x plus x is 2x, y plus negative y is 0, so no need to write it down. Tapos, 8 plus 4 is 12. Kaya may equal to 12. Ayan, tapos we can directly solve for x. So, di ba, para mawala yung 2, we are going to apply the multiplication property of equality, or we are just going to divide this by the number beside x. Kung ano yung number na katabi ni x, i-divide natin siya doon. So, since 2 ang katabi ni x, i-divide mo siya sa 2. Divide ko to pareho sa 2. Di ba? Kung anong ginawa mo sa isa, gagawin mo sa lahat. Gagawin mo rin sa kabila. So, divide ito sa 2. Divide ko rin ito sa 2. And when I divide this by 2, of course, cancel na to. Magiging 1 na lang kasi yan. 2 divided is 1. So, 1x na lang. Or just x. Tapos, 12 divided 2, the answer is 6. I-divide mo lang. 12 divided by 2, the answer is 6. Ayan. So, we, uh, we have now the value of x. So, ganun lang. So, diba? Sir, para mas madali yan compared sa substitution method. Actually, mas prefer kong gamitin ang elimination method compared sa substitution method. Pero, uh, mahalaga pa rin na alam natin pareho. Bakit? There are cases na mas madaling magamit sa substitution compared to elimination method. So, you have to know both para at least may choice ka na, ay, gagamitin ko yung substitution. I am going to use now elimination method. So, it's up to us. Para at least meron tayong pagpipilian. Next. So, we have now the value of x. So, halfway na tayo, kalahati na. Kasi, di ba? Solve tayo ng x, solve tayo ng y. So, meron na tayong x. Now, let's work on y. Let's solve for y. Para ma-solve yung y, gagamitin ko yung x. Kung ano na solve natin, gagamitin ko na siya para ma-solve yung y. Ito yung gagawin natin process. Substitute this one, x is equal to 6 to equation number 1. Ito naman, ito naman pong equation number 1, kahit saan mo naman, ay kahit equation number 2 ang gamitin mo, okay lang yan. Dito, ginamit ko lang si equation number 1. Pero pwede naman talagang gamitin yung equation number 2. Either way, you will still have the same value of y. So, let's solve. So, kuhanin mo natin, natin yung gagamitin natin. x is equal to 6, tapos equation 1, x plus y is equal to 8. Ayan. So, eto, yung x dito magiging 6, ibig sabihin, yung equation na to, bababa natin, papalitan daw natin yung x dyan ng 6. ba? Sabi, substitute mo daw yung 6. Yung x dito daw magiging 6. So, yun ang ibig sabihin nitong process natin. Ibig sabihin, since ang x ay 6, change this into 6. Ayan, so, yung x naging 6, of course, yung y saka yung 8 natira. Tapos, para ma-solve yung y, kailangan matira yung y. 
ilipat natin yung 6. And that will become negative 6 sa kabila kasi nag-transpose tayo. Tapos solve lang natin ng uh, 8 minus 6. So 8 minus 6 now is 2. So y is equal to 2. And that is now the value of y. Alright? Di ba mas madali siya compared sa substitution method? I agree. Kung ito yung itinuro kong una, siguro mas prefer nyo nang gamitin yung elimination method. Ayan. So, after that, of course, hindi pa ito final answer. So, although nakuha na natin yung x saka yung y, ngayon, kailangan natin i-express yung x and y in two ordered pair. So, ganito yun. Ayan. Ordered pair, yung x ang mauuna lagi. So, that's 6 kasi ang x natin ay 6. Tapos, followed by y, y value which is 2. x, 2. And that is now the final answer. Ayan. So, after, baka i-require sa atin ni teacher na checking. So, i-check natin. So, checking 6, 2. So, substitute lang natin yung sa equation 1 tas equation number 2. So, ang x magiging 6, ang y magiging 2. So, magiging x ay 6 plus 2 is equal to 8. Tapos 8 is equal to 8. Kailangan maging equal yung dalawa para maging check tayo. Next, equation number 2. So, ang x magiging 6, ang y magiging 2. Andito yan. So, 6 minus 2 is equal to 4. Ang 6 minus 2 by is equal to 4. Yes. So, check yan. Ayan. So, ganun ba ang complete process ng elimination method? Let's have our... Second example. Ayan. So, yung second example, of course, ito rin yung example natin last time doon sa uh, second example din sa substitution method. So, prove lang natin na kaya tong masolve using elimination method. Ayan. So, let's have our solution. Of course, label muna natin. Equation number 1 tapos equation number 2. So, for our solution, ganito yan. So, sabi natin, since elimination is addition, so, ipag-plus lang natin yung dalawang equations. So, 2x plus y is equal to 1. Tapos, negative x plus y is equal to 10. Ayan. Now, kung you observe natin yung dalawang equation, sir, parang imposible yung magamit sa elimination method. So, on the first glance, parang, oo oh, nga, parang imposible. Bakit? Bakit nga ba mukha siyang imposible? Again, mukha. Mukha pa lang. For now, mukha pa lang siyang imposible. Pero posible kasi yan. Ganto. di ba? Sabi natin, kapag elimination method, kailangan makakita ka ng term dun sa x saka sa y na magkapareho pero magka-opposite lang ng sign. Tama? So, kung 2x ito, dapat may 2x ka doon. Kung y dito, may y doon. Tapos, dapat opposite ang sign. So, dito sa y, pareho sana, pero hindi magka-opposite ng sign. Tama? Dito naman, sa, sa 2x saka sa negative x, okay na. Okay na siya. Magka-opposite na ng sign. Pero, eto lang ang problema natin. Yung negative x. Hindi siya kapareho ng term dito sa taas. Ang gagawin natin dyan, we're going to work on something about these equations para mag siyang or magkaroon siya ng parehong term na magka-opposite ng sign. So, ganito yung ibig kong sabihin dyan. Ayan. So, dito, pinili kong baguhin yung equation number 2. Ayan. Bakit may times to dyan? Again, malaya tayo magmanipulate ng equations. Ayan. So, pwede mong galawin yung equation 1, pwede mong galawin yung equation number 2, or pwede mo rin galawin yung pareho para magkaroon ka ng the same na term na magka-opposite ng sign. Now, so sabi natin walang pareho. Although yung y saka yung y pareho, na, hindi lang pareho na, or hindi lang magka-opposite ng sign. So, this time, eto, yung 2x dito, Saka yung negative x ang i-work out natin. Bakit? Magka-opposite na sila ng sign. So at least madali na yung uh, magawa ng paraan. So kung magka-opposite na sila ng sign, kailangan ko lang itong uh, gawing 2x. ba? Gawing negative 2x. So how am I going to do that? By multiplying 2 sa equation number 2. Bakit? So let's do that. So, kung if I multiply 2 dito sa equation number 2, copyan ko lang equation number 1. Ayan. Tapos, ipa-plus ko siya dito na. So, times 2. Lahat ng terms dito. Nagi siyang negative 2x. Nagi siyang 2y. At ayan. Diba? Uh, negative x times 2, that's negative 2x. 2 times y, that's 2y. 10 times 2, that's 20. So, ito na yung panibagong equation for number 2. So, again, Ginawa natin yung times 2 para magkaroon siya ng same na term. Same na term na magka-opposite ng sign or yung neutral pair. 
So, yun ang challenge sa atin sa elimination method. Minsan gagawa ka ng paraan na magkaroon talaga ng term na magka-opposite ng sign, pero same ang term. Same term, opposite sign. Ayan. So, now, meron na. May 2x na, may negative 2x. Magka-opposite, so, pwede ko na siyang i-plus para maging 0 yan. Ayan. So, ibig sabihin, tatanggalin natin yung 2x sa kayo negative 2x. Diba? Ang 2x minus 2x ay 0, so, tanggal na yan. Diba? So, yun naman ang gusto natin, diba? May ma-eliminate na isang variable. y plus 2y, that's 3y. Tapos, 1 plus 20, that's 21. Ayan. Tapos, para masolve si y, i-divide natin to sa 3 i-divide natin sa 3. Diba? Ayan. Whatever the number beside the variable, divide mo lang yan sa both sides of the equation. So, this will become, uh, ato, cancel. That will become y. 21 divided 3, that will become 7. Ayan. So, we have now the value of y. Now, baka may makaisip sa atin na ganito. Okay lang tong process na to. Let's say, sir, parang mas madali sa akin mas madali ko pong naisip or mas madaling pumasok sa isip ko yung gantong process. So, i-times ko na lang po kaya ito sa negative. Negative 1. Times ko to sa negative 1. In this way po, magiging negative yung y. Tapos, may negative na, may positive na. So, pwede na rin po siyang neutral pair. Correct. So, tama yon. So, that's a good decision. Sabi ko nga, napakaraming cases na pwede mong gawin sa elimination method. So, hindi ko siya kayang ituro lahat ng possibilities. So, kung may maisip kang iba, possible yan for as long as we arrive at the same answer. Ayan. So, y is equal to 7. Ayan. So, let's solve for x naman. Diba? So, we're done with y. Nakakalahati na tayo ng pagsasolve. Solve for x. So, to solve for x, gagamitin natin yung value ni y. So, to solve for that, solve for value, ay, y is equal to 7, tapos this time, pinili ko naman sa equation number 2 para makita natin na Kahit alin pala sa dalawa, pwede natin gamitin. So, ayan. Let's use equation number 2 para masolve yung value ni x. So, y is equal to 7. Gagamitin natin yan. Tapos, yung equation number 2 isulat din natin dito. And that is negative x plus y is equal to 10. So, yung y dito, gagawin natin 7. Kasi, ito na nga yung value ni y na nakuha natin. Ayan. So, copy lang muna. Yung y magiging 7. Nakandun dito yan. Tapos, ayan. Ilipat natin yung 7 sa kabila. Since positive yan dito, magiging siya negative sa kabila. So, negative x is equal to 10 minus 7. So, that will give us negative x is equal to 3. Ayan. So, next, since, di ba, kapag equation, may shortcut tayo dito. Kung gusto lang naman natin, kung ang problema lang ay yung sign. Kasi, di ba, dapat positive yung x natin dito. So, kung ang problema lang naman ay sign, so, change lang natin lahat. Shortcut po yun. So, x na lang to, negative 3 na ito. Change mo lahat ng term. So, become x, this will become negative 3. Pero kung gusto mo naman ng talagang mathematical ano, process, pwede kang mag-time sa negative 1. Or pwede kang mag-divide ng negative 1. So, both sides of the equation. Depende naman yan. Pero, you will still arrive at this final answer. x is equal to negative 3. Ayan. So, we're done getting x and y. So, yun naman ang goal natin. Pero hindi pa yun dyan tapos. Of course, we're going to express this in terms of Ordered pair. So, ganito yan. Ayan. Sir, bakit negative 3 ang nauna? Eh, 7 yung nauna natin isolve. Of course, negative 3 talaga dapat yan. Kasi nga pang ordered pair, x ang nauna. Kahit huli mo siyang nasolve, basta x yan, siya talaga ang mauunang isusulat. Followed by y. That's very important. Again, wag na wag babalik ta rin yung x sa kayong y. Kaya nga siya ordered pair. Ordered. That means naka-fix yan. X ang mauna, followed by Y. So, kasi kapag ginawa mo yung 7, kama negative 3, iba na ang ibig sabihin nun. Ayan. So, let's check. That is now the final answer. Checking tayo. So, let's use the ordered pair na nakuha natin. 2X plus Y is equal to 1. So, change X and Y into negative 3 and 7. So, 2 times negative 3 plus 7, ayan, pinalatan lang natin, is equal to 1. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6 plus 7 is equal to 1. Plus negative 6 plus 7, that is 1. So, it's a subtract lang kasi natin yan. 7 minus 6 is 1. Ayan. So, check na yan. 1 is equal to 1. Next for equation number 2, yung negative x magiging negative times negative 3, yung value ni x, plus yung 7, value ni y is equal to 10. 
Negative times negative 3, that's positive 3. So plus 7 is equal to 10. 3 plus 7 is 10 is equal to 10. That is also correct. And so that's how you do the complete process of elimination method. Now, if you are up for the challenge, this is our humor drill. Ayan. So I guess we challenge naman tayo for our uh, problem sa humor drill. So ito, I'll give you a clue kung anong gagawin or kung ano may encounter ninyo sa humor drill. So kanina, di ba sa example number yung madali lang, meron na agad na neutral pair. Magka-ibang op magka opposite sign para parehong term. Then, sa number 2 naman, example number 2, may ginawa tayong kakaiba para magkaroon ng neutral pair. Tapos, dito naman sa humor drill natin, ang clue na ibibigay ko sa inyo is to multiply something sa equation number 1 and multiply something sa equation number 2. And in that way, saka kayo makakuha ng neutral pair. Ayan. So, give it a try. Ayan. So, ito ang humor drill natin. 3x minus 2y is equal to 7. 2x plus 5y is equal to negative 27. Ayan. So, I'll pause for a while now and I'll get back to, you, back to you to give the answer. But if you still need time, feel free to pause the video. Your timer starts now. Alright, time's up. So, let's answer this. Ayan. So, 3x minus 2y is equal to 7. 2x plus 5y is equal to negative 27. So, sana na-challenge tayo. Baka kasi ang basic lang sa inyo na uh, problem natin sa humor drill. So, ganito. So, sabi ko doon kanina. So, ito yung clue na ibinigay ko sa inyo. So, you are going to multiply something sa equation 1 tapos something sa equation number 2 para magkaroon ng neutral pair. So, I hope nakuha natin yung sagot dito. So, let's see. So, label muna natin. Equation 1 ito. Equation number 2 ito. Ayan. So, for complete solution, so, sulat natin si equation 1 tapos equation number 2. Ayan. So, wala pang neutral pair. 3x ito, 2x ito. So, magkaiba pa. 2y ito, tapos 5y ito. So, magkaiba pa. So, ito wala tong kinalaman. So, makiki, ano lang yan. Go with the flow lang yung constant. So, ang check natin kung may neutral pair ay yung dalawang x tapos dalawang y. So, wala pa. Pero, Ang una mong titignan, baka mayroon nang magka-opposite ng sign. Meron, sir. Yung gitna. Correct. So, yung gitna magka-opposite na. So, pwede natin gawa ng paraan na magkaroon ng neutral pair out of this 2y saka 5y. Yung negative 2y saka yung positive 5y. Ganito yon. Ayan. So, ano kayang number? Saan kaya magtatagpo yung 2 saka yung 5? Diba yung 2 saka yung 5, mag-meet sila kapag magiging silang 10. Tama? Diba? Ibig sabihin, pwede kong gawing 10 yung 2, tapos 10 din yung 5, para maging silang pareho. Paano yun? Paano magiging 10 yung 2? So, for equation number 1, paano magiging 10 yung 2? Times 5. So, mag-times ako ng 5. Dito naman, paano magiging 10 yung 5? Again, ang goal natin ay 10. Paano ko gagawing 10 yung 5? Mag-times ako ng 2. Ayan. So, magkaibang number ang times natin para lumabas yung neutral pair. Ayan. So, times 5 tayo sa equation number 1, times 2 tayo sa equation number 2. So, let's do that. So, ayan. Times 5 mo lang lahat sa equation 1. Ganda yung lalabas. 3x times 5, that's 15x. Negative 2y times 5, that's negative 10y. Tapos, 7 times 5, that's 35. So, times mo lang lahat sa 5. Ito naman, times mo lahat sa 2. 2x times 2, that's 4x. Uh, tapos, 5y times 2, that's 10y. Negative 27 times 2, that's negative 54. Ayan. So, there we have it. Ito na ang ating neutral pair. Nagawa natin ng paraan na maging parehong term sila pero magka-opposite lang ng sign. ba? So, negative 10y tapos positive 10y. Ayan. Tapos, ang gagawin natin dito, ipa-plus na natin. Kasi yun naman ang process of elimination method. So, since may neutral pair, natanggalin na natin yan. Ayan. Pwede na itong makancel. So, i-plus natin. 15x plus 4x, that is 19x. Diba? Tapos ito, tanggal. Ayan, tanggalin natin. Tapos, 35 plus negative 54. So, mag-plus tayo ng opposite. So, we are going to subtract regardless of the sign muna. 54 minus 35, that's 19. Pero bakit negative? 
kasi hihingi siya ng sign dun sa higher number, which is negative 54. Kaya negative yung 19. So, para matanggal yung 19 dyan, divide natin siya sa 19. So, divide both sides by 19 and 19. So, eto magiging 1, kaya 1x na lang or just x. Tapos, yung negative 19 divide negative 19, the answer is negative 1. So, ayan na. So, ayan ang value ng x natin. So, kalahati na tayo sa process. Solve for y. Sorry. Solve for y to. Kasi we're done getting the value of x. So, gamitin natin yung value ni x, which is negative 1. Then, ipalit natin siya sa equation number 1. Again, itong equation dito, pwede siyang 1, pwede siyang 2. Depende sa inyo. Kung saan sa tingin nyo mas madali, yun ang gamitin nyo. Ayan. So, let's get kung anong gagamitin natin. Ito, x is equal to negative 1. Tapos equation number 1. Sulat lang natin muna. Ayan. Iba ba ang equation number 1? Kasi papalitan natin yung x niya ng negative 1. So, magiging itong negative 1. So, that's 3 times negative 1. Tapos the rest, copy. Negative 2y is equal to 7. 3 times negative 1, that's negative 3. So, minus 2y is equal to 7. Tapos, para matira yung y dito, ilipat ko muna yung negative 3. So, magiging siyang negative 2y is equal to 7 plus 3. Kasi, di ba, nag-transpose, magiging siyang positive. So, solve ko muna ito. Magiging siyang 10. Now, kung anong katabi ni y, di ba, i-divide natin yan sa number na yun. So, since ang katabi ni y is negative 2, so, divide natin yan by negative 2. So, negative 2 dyan, negative 2 dito. Tapos, ayan, kapag negative 2 divide negative 2, magiging na siyang 1, di ba? Tanggal na yan. Y na lang to. Tapos, mag-divide tayo ng opposite, the answer is negative. So, 10 divided by negative 2, the answer is negative 5. So, ayan na. Ayan si x, ayan si y. And we can now have our ordered pair. So, negative 1 muna. Make sure na x yan. Tama naman. Then, negative 5 ang susunod. Make sure na y yan. Tama naman. And that is now the final answer. Ayan. So, let me see how you did. So, sana comment ninyo kung, kung nakuha ninyo yung tamang sagot dito sa ating humor jail. Ayan. So, congratulations sa nakakuha ng tamang sagot. Ayan. Now, uh, let's go for our checking. So, negative 1 comma negative 5. <laughs> Sorry. So, 3x minus 2y is equal to 7. So, change x into negative 1, change y into negative 5. 3 times negative 1, negative 2 times negative 5 is equal to 7. Tapos, 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. Negative 2 times negative 5, that's positive 10, is equal to 7. Tapos kapag nag-plus tayo ng opposite, subtract natin yun. 10 minus 3, that's 7. Tapos bakit positive? Kasi yung 10 ang higher number. Next, so check na yun. 2x plus 5y is equal to negative 27. So change x into negative 1, change y into negative 5. Ito yung mangyayari. 2 times negative 1 plus 5 times negative 5 is equal to negative 27. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Tapos 5 times negative 5 is negative 25. So, kapag in-operate natin ito, ang answer ay negative 27. So, check pa din. Ayan. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've learned something today. And I want to see you in our next video. Bye-bye! Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed and learned something today. And if you did, huwag na huwag mong kakalimutan na mag-subscribe and di-click ang notification bell para updated ka sa latest videos natin dito sa humor page. And don't forget to share this to your friends and to the parents na kailangan ng lesson na ito para maituro nila sa kanila mga anak. And don't forget that you deserve more. You can learn more. And you can be more. Hashtag YouMorePH Bye-bye! See you in our next video.